Hi everybody, Benny once again with the 94th Aeroplanes Aviation Consulting Group. We're here today at the Coast Guard Air Station in Miami, Florida with Lieutenant Commander Kyle Longstall. Kyle, how are we doing today? Doing good, Benny. So what do you got here? Right, you're looking at here is the uh, MH-65 Charlie aircraft. Okay. Formerly the HH-65, but this has a um, potential to put a weapons package on it. Okay, so right now this ship is under some heavy maintenance, correct? Right? Exactly, yeah, it's under 600 hour maintenance inspection. You can see both engines are removed. The avionics, Ford avionics station is open. Yeah, I'm going to take a tour just to see what you can show us around. Okay. So essentially here you're looking at the um, co-pilot on the left side, pilot station on the right, and this is our flight mechanics chair, and then the rescue swimmer seat behind that. So oh, typically when we fly it will be a crew of four two pilots, flight mechanic, and rescue So you swimmer. have one dry, one dry and one wet, correct? Exactly. And what's the range on this, uh, approximately? We can get approximately 300 miles on this. Cruise at 120 knots, and um, if we max gas it, we can get just under three hours of flight time. Excellent. Now when the aircraft's put together, this panel will be closed. I understand. So, this is a really good chance to look at it. This panel back here, we call the, the AV rack, the avionics rack. That's so the main avionics rack? Uh -huh. Exactly. And again, in typical flight, that would be that would be completely covered up. When we hover down low over the water, and we pull our swimmer in and out of the water, incredibly corrosive environment. I would imagine. The deck of the plane, and you can see it slow, um, will just be covered in seawater. You know, so after every time we fly and doing rescue swimmer work, cover work, we'll um, completely sanitize the cabin with fresh water. And how low of a hover would you maintain to extract the swimmer out if need be? Or uh, I'd say a typical deployment. Um, the fastest method is a free fall, so we'll just come into a hover, come down below 15 feet, and the swimmer free falls out of the, so it'll be not on the hook at all. Understand? It completely jumps out. That takes. I don't know, maybe two minutes to do that. And then the quickest way to get them is either with a basket if it's rigged or just a bare hook. And we can pick them up in about, again, another minute to two minutes. Now we're looking at the hoist here. You said this hoist has a, a capacity rating of how many pounds again? 600 pounds. 600 pounds. And it's fully controlled by the, uh, the in-flight crew guy, right? Right. And he will hold here to hold this, um, this pendant. Typically, this hatch will raise right. the boom, will swing in and out, and you can control the cable going up and down with the pin here. Excellent, excellent. Now, how long is this ship under maintenance for? What's the typical downtime? Um, this 600 hour cycle, anywhere between two to three weeks. Well, that's excellent. Well, thank you. You're welcome.